Caleb was a North Dakota kid. Did you grow up in a household that supported one side of the rivalry or the other? What was your memories of this rivalry? Yeah, it obviously didn't play a ton when I was growing up um, with UND being in the big sky. Um, but, I mean, any time um, you had a, a team from your state playing a big game, I mean, you're watching, right? So um, it's cool growing up to see a you know, team from your state doing really well. And uh, the rivalry, like now, is everything, you know. It, you know, everywhere you go, you're getting asked about it. But you can't let it affect you as a player. As a fan, like, it's a big deal. But as a player, you can't let it affect you. So. Um, what, what was your takeaway from scoring 72 points against Murray State? What did you maybe like about how you guys are playing on offense? We're playing with a lot of confidence right now. And we talk about playing all three phases. We scored a lot of points, but we also got the ball in really good positions on the field, whether our defense got a turnover, we block punt, or strip the ball on a punt. I mean, we're getting the ball sometimes on the 20, like on our end, like that sets up, you know, a good shot for us to score in, you know, short drives. And I like that we've we played different style. I mean, a couple games we've had to have really long drives, hold the ball for a long time. In other, other games, we have the ball for, you know, six plays, we're breaking one loose. So I think we've shown that we can do both and that we're comfortable in both aspects, big plays and long sustained drives. Well, it's, it's number two against number seven. Um, add that to UND and DSU. What, what do you anticipate from an environment standpoint on Saturday? Uh, I'm gonna compare it kind of to the experience I have, obviously, I mean, Iowa State, I mean, big crowd, it's going to be loud. Um, when you're kind of in tune with the game, a lot of the noise, you don't really let it affect you because you're, you're focused. So we're going to do what we do, I mean, every week. It's an away game, so we're going to pair with some crowd noise. It's going to be loud. Um, we're going to keep the focus on us, as Coach always says. It's always about your preparation. Like, what do you need to do to be successful this week? That's got to be your focus the whole week. And as a team, I think we just need to play I mean, tighter than ever, and and Coach always says, like, our best is good enough, so play to our best. I wanted to ask you, too, about, uh, I think Bo Belquist is, you know, one of the top five in the nation right now, receiving yards, averaging like 20 yards a catch. From from what you get to see, what, what impresses you the most about what Bo's been able to do here this season? Bo is Bo's an everyday guy. Um, he's very consistent with his emotions. Um, how good of a teammate he is. A lot of new faces on the offense this year. He doesn't let that affect him. Like, he's not thinking about the past, thinking about the future. He's playing for right now, which to a guy like me, I mean, my first year playing, that's huge. Shows, like, he's invested, he's all in. And that kind of rubs off on everybody else. And a big, like, we're going to do what it takes to win mentality. And he, like, shows that every day, so. So with last year's win, of course, uh, at the Alaris Center, how much extra motivation is there to stay on top of this rivalry uh, this week? Um, I'd say I, there's always motivation, and I think it's kind of personal for everybody, but you can't let that affect how you prepare, because as soon as you let it affect how you prepare, then it's like the game's become too big. So um, focusing on that it's another conference game, like it's an away game, obviously it's going to be loud, focus on how we prepare and do what we can. What do you tell some of the newer, younger players that maybe haven't played in the Fargo Dome as the road team before uh, in terms of handling that atmosphere? Um, stay tight as a team, whether it's loud, whether it's not. I mean, the sidelines are small, you're close to the crowd, like tune into the game, you know, like talk to your teammates, focus on the plan, stay in tune. And uh, yeah, just play, play our game. Don't let it affect you. They have a pretty good uh, defensive line yep. with uh, quite a bit of depth. Um, what's the biggest challenge of going up against that D line? A lot of experience, like you said. Um, they're very active rushers, which in uh, past weeks we've seen a little more uh, bigger guys playing more gap defense. So very active rushers, and they've played. Some of these guys have been playing for a long time. So um, focusing on what they do to be successful, and then watching previous games, learning what we need to do to be successful. It's going to be really important this week. 
How much does this game mean to you with it being a rivalry game? I know you said earlier you try to not let it get to your head, but what do you think that means to you and your team overall? It's, as a like North Dakota Class B kid, I think it's, you always grow up. I mean, I grew up, grew up pretty close to Fargo. So the Fargo Dome was, it was always a cool place to play. I was able to play there in high school against a couple of my teammates actually. But um, once you kind of get acclimated to the environment, I mean, it's it's another game. Right before, honestly, the most, the big, the game becomes its biggest before it even starts. So once the game gets started and you get moving and you're back in the groove, it's another conference game and you play with, you know, 100% effort and do what you can, you'll get the job done. So you wouldn't say this game would be or mean more to you guys if you guys won it in that sense? I mean, it'd be silly of me to say no. You know, it's always, this one's always on the schedule. It's always circled. But um, like I was saying earlier, you can't let it affect how you prepare because if you prepare differently every week, then, I mean, that's to be a championship team. you got to prepare like a champ regardless who you're playing. So. What are some adjustments that you think you guys need to focus on heading into this game in order to be successful? The game plan is always changing. I mean, every week. Um, so preparing to play a very physical football game. Um, I mean, they, like I said up front, they play like it's a street fight every game. So being prepared to do that and then being prepared to uh, be successful and be confident, prepare for the best, prepare like we're going to play our best. and. We'll go out there and we'll go do it. You know, we've seen after these wins, you know, the the excitement that's in the locker room for you guys. You know, what would this mean in terms of confidence and and for you for this roster if you guys you know go in on Saturday and get the win? Yeah, um, obviously they're a highly ranked team. They played good football so far. I mean, across all phases, they've been doing really well. So I mean, it would really improve our confidence, I think. But playing, I mean, Iowa State, Montana first couple of games of the year with new coaches, a lot of new faces on the field. And I think having some success there brought a lot of confidence to our team. And Coach Frickty does a great job in our unit meetings. I mean, showing us clips, he's like, where we are successful, where we have confidence. So um, I think it built a lot of confidence, but right now I think we have a lot of confidence. We know we, we can be successful versus good ranked teams. All right, and for, for you guys as an offensive line, you guys have really stepped up throughout the season in terms of the rushing attack and the passing attack. You know, what does it mean to see that this O-line is gelling and, and doing a really good job out there? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of the guys. Um, a lot of noise preseason about, you know, all the new faces. And, I mean, having guys like Seth out there. Seth's not a very talkative guy if you ever met Seth, but very good, like, with confidence and talking to us about what we see. And we've done a really good job, I think, preparing for what we need to do to be successful. Um, sometimes it doesn't even matter who's on the D-line. It's every play. It's what do I need to do to be successful to help this team gain yards, get a touchdown, whatever you got to do. All right. And then also in years past, we've seen from UND, you know, long sustaining drives. But the last two weeks, we've seen drives that are less than three plays, 79 yard or 73 yard touchdown, 69 yard touchdown. You know, what's it like being able to see, you know, the offense produce that, you know, explosive plays like that? Yeah, we make it a, a goal every week to do so. And when we execute and we're able to see that, especially on the field in like real time, it's really special. You know, everyone did their job, everyone's competing. And I mean, that's the end result. And sometimes someone might miss a job, like an opportunity, whatever, on the field. And, you might have those long drives where you're chipping away. I mean, those are just as fun. I mean, you're getting chunk plays. We always say, like, you got to like the three-yard runs just as much as you like the 60-yard runs. So having the same amount of confidence and energy, regardless of the play, is important, too.